Maybe it was gray, rainy days. Unplanned trips to Denny's after another canceled rehearsal. I wear American Eagle too. <laughs> Smile with a shoulder shrug. I didn't want to go home that night, any night. Car rides and you were right beside me, the warmest shoulder. Tense, so a little rub between fast friends. Hands compact and stocky, the instant joy at the sound, your voice, Abuelita's hot chocolate, soft, polite, with spice. A new sweetness I'd never tasted. My secret Santa, Mexican teddy bear who loved glitter puff paint, made sure I had my own stocking for Christmas found each other's smiles across the floor, how you drove all those miles just to dance with us. In the frozen air of an abandoned electronics warehouse, the best place to hear your laughter echo as we played. Maybe it was the way the group of us took care of one another. Trust that you won't drop what you just tossed in the air. Catch, I got your back how you touched his when I found the two of you lying on the floor in the morning, not really naked. I smiled for your happiness, though it was abrupt and he was still so young. Maybe we're all reaching for gold medals. Maybe it was the way I always wanted to hug you the way I would deflate the heart of my practice pillow, the way we all need to be embraced tight, the night in the RV back from NorCal while he was away. A game of truth or dare, and we were both a little lonely, could not fall asleep. Maybe there was no way for us to see the graveled terrain ahead, so maybe I wanted you to leave your hand there, slithering bronzed serpent along an undiscovered branch, a jar of a thousand trapped synchronous fireflies, dying to burst through mason glass, see July, July's gunpowder ignite in my veins, am I radiating heat? Was he going to complete me, this unplanned trip the humid bliss when I didn't go home. The summer I wanted to scorch my tongue in a new sweetness I'd never tasted while he was away, praying you would leave your door ajar, waiting to ask if you needed a limb to swing from, something to hold onto, tight, in a pitch black room, waiting, wanting, to breathe in the pink baby lotion fresh out of the shower scent of you, hoping you would make your move, knowing both of us were a little lost, finding each other underneath hands compact and stocky, the thick throbbing pulse in between. I wanted you there, making sure I was warm. On his side of the bed, Whisper what you would say to him in the nape of my neck, your fingers melting my skin of a close encounter of a touch forbidden, trying not to make a sound as I heard you coming, as you let me have a taste each night, a little less clothing, pressing my body into comfort, longing for the length and weight of you. Don't mention his name. Do you like it this way? Maybe it was when you asked, do you want to watch a porno? What? You know, get in the mood? Um, no, no, it's okay. Warmer, warmer. Blueprint tips running smooth over already in the mood, uncharted muscle and I've always wanted to feel this sexy and I've always found you exotic. Thanks. Exotic? 
Yeah. Oh. I love you. Colder. Colder. And I meant what I said. But maybe you don't say that kind of thing when you're the other man attempting to fill the mold that was made on the other side of the bed for him. Another trip to Shasta Lake, the kind of stroll one takes to get their feet wet. Maybe I was swimming too many laps. Maybe I was sinking a little too deep. Took pleasure in stroking him naked, learning what he was made of. Exploring his map with my lips, his neck, his chest, his inner thighs. But he would never let me look into his eyes. Wouldn't touch his mouth to mine. The night I was willing to drink every drop of his summer dark, he resisted, gave back my shirt, turned the car around to go home, wash the sheets, and make the bed. Maybe it was when I cried, naive child in his arms, when I realized I would never I could never, I should never have all of him. I am the definition of a thief caught stranded. Stained glass window crasher grabbing all the horns, leaving nothing, letting the holy water evaporate, graceless dancer. The worst magician you've ever seen. And maybe I can't stand dirty mirrors around friends who've been through this, so I still will scour the spots away until I am done loathing my own reflection. And no one should feel sorry for a person who steals. If I could put the jar of fireflies back on the shelf, I would. Wrap my lips around reasoning rather than consume a few sweet and salty nights. Maybe if I stopped you, maybe if we hadn't met, maybe if you didn't trust, maybe summertime will always slap me, selfish and unclean, maybe I am unclean. Maybe I am finished silently swallowing and maybe you are finally hearing me exhale. Maybe this is what 10 years of sickness sounds like. A heated sigh out onto open field means maybe we'll take different roads, means maybe you'll never want to see me again. I'm sorry. Maybe we can still be friends. Maybe. It's Patrick, may you, you.